everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us for our care series. And today we're gonna to be talking about the pellets that chinchillas should be eating every single day. The ingredients and nutrients in good pellets are essential to a chinchilla's well-being and overall health. On the market, there is quite a variety of chinchilla food, but a lot that you might find on the shelves of your local pet store is not necessarily healthy for your chinchilla. Sometimes these are mixed with seeds, nuts, dried fruit, mysterious biscuits, corn, all kinds of stuff. And what we actually want is a very plain pellet that has no fillers. Our favorite brands, and arguably the best brands on the market right now, are Oxbow and Missouri. Both Oxbow and Missouri can be found and purchased online, like Chewy or Amazon, but the added bonus of Oxbow is that it can be found at most pet supply chains. But no matter where you buy from, always check the date on the packaging to make sure you're getting a fresh bag that hasn't been sitting around forever. Personally, we feed Missouri to Archins and they love it, but we honestly recommend both products equally. Pellets come in bags, which we then put into an airtight storage container so it can stay as fresh as possible. Note that the best practice here is keeping the food in the bag in the container rather than directly in the container because it'll keep it fresh longer and less likely to become contaminated. This is also why we use a separate scoop to scoop out our food instead of using the bowl directly in the bag. I personally change out their food daily so they always have fresh pellets available and I can tell how much they're eating on a daily basis. Remember to use a ceramic bowl for your food and not a plastic bowl. We never want any kind of plastic in the cage, including a food bowl. I found that putting the bowl on the ground level of the cage decreases the chance of a chin coming and knocking it over and spilling food everywhere. Plus, this is also gonna be the place that your chinchilla pees because for a lot of rodents, kitchen and bathroom are unfortunately the same place. But if you do find that your chinchilla is peeing directly into his food bowl, then it might be time to try to find somewhere else to put the bowl. Let us know in the comments what you feed your chinchilla. And next up, we're talking all about hay. Hay is one of the most important parts of your chinchilla's diet, and in fact, some might say it's the most important part. Timothy hay provides necessary dietary needs, but is also a key element to your chin's dental health as well. Eating and chewing hay plays a huge role in keeping your chin's back teeth filed down, and offering hay during playtime is great mental stimulation that encourages their natural foraging behavior. In your search for hay, you might come across a wide variety of different types of hay. They all serve a purpose, but it's really important to remember that Timothy hay is the right kind, and it must be offered fresh and unlimited every single day. Some other types of hay include oat, alfalfa, and orchard grass. All of these are safe for your chinchilla to eat, but think of them more as treat hay and fed in small quantities. You can find Timothy Hay pretty much at any big box pet retailer, small store, or online. If you buy in store, check the bag to make sure the hay is fresh and green looking. And as long as your chinchilla likes it and it doesn't have any extra fillers or anything weird in it, brand doesn't really matter. I will say though that Archins really like Small Pet Select, Oxbow, and Stanley. We buy our Timothy Hay in 25 to 50 pound bulk boxes from Amazon or Chewy, and because we have four picky chins, we go through it pretty quickly. When you go to place the hay in your chin's cage, keep in mind that your chinchilla will probably be peeing where the hay is, similar to where the food bowl is. Another consideration is how to contain the hay, because hay can be pretty messy. Some people use fleece bags, ceramic dishes, mugs, flower pots, or just piles on the ground. Because honestly, when you have picky chins, that's where the hay is gonna end up anyway. The one thing though that you want to avoid is any kind of wired hay rack. Since chins like to climb and perch where they eat hay, it would be really easy for them to break a limb doing so. 
Hay can be stored in its bag or in a bin or box that has some ventilation or open top so it doesn't collect any mold. I just like to use a big metal trash can, fluff it up a little, and leave the top open so air can circulate. If your chin is refusing to eat their hay, you might consider switching brands to see if they'd like something else. Another good option would be to mix in a little treat hay, like our favorite orchard grass, which will naturally encourage them to eat the surrounding timothy hay as well. Similarly, you can buy hay cubes and see if offering those will encourage natural hay eating too. If your chin still doesn't want their hay, be sure to rule out any health concerns with your exotic vet, like possible dental disease. Now let's move on to talking about water. Next we're discussing water, which might be more informative than you think. Obviously, chinchillas need access to fresh water 24-7. And although chinchillas don't drink water in very large quantities, it's really important they stay hydrated so their little GI tracts will work properly. If you think your chin might be dehydrated, one trick is to blow on the fur. If the fur bounces back, he's probably hydrated. But if the fur stays blown over, you might want to check the bottle because he could be dehydrated. This leads me to the most important part of your water setup, which is, of course, the bottle. We don't use water bowls because we don't want our chinchillas to risk getting wet. This is also why leaky bottles are a concern. We recommend a medium-sized glass bottle with a spring and ball at the end of the spout. And since plastic is not safe to chew and can harbor growth and bacteria more easily, we count those out completely. Secondly, we give our chinchillas purified bottled water, which greatly decreases the risk of the parasite Giardia, which can be found in tap water. This parasite is very hard to get rid of, so we don't want to take any chances. The glass bottles we like most are Lixit and Oxbow, which we found on Amazon, but honestly, any glass bottle is fine as long as it doesn't leak and it can safely attach to the cage. We typically rinse and refill our chins water bottles every other day since chins can be pretty slow drinkers. When we fill them up, it's important to remember to leave space at the line so it doesn't create a vacuum. Vacuums due to overfilled water bottles and the roller getting stuck are the most common reasons chinchillas might not be able to get water out of their water bottle. On the flip side, and more commonly, water bottles leak. Sometimes the bottle is just faulty, but always remember to look inside and check that the washer is pushed all the way down in the cap and that the spout is secured correctly. It's also important that your chin doesn't have to reach too high to be able to take a drink. I keep the tip of the bottle about four inches off the floor so they can stay on all fours and just tilt their head to drink. Remember that cleaning your bottle regularly with hot water and using maybe a smidge of dish soap or vinegar is key to preventing any algae growth. And of course, always remember to rinse thoroughly. And now we're moving on to the fun topic, which is of course, treats. Treats are not a necessary part of your chinchilla's diet, but of course we all want to give our little fluffers a yummy snack sometimes. In moderation, treats are an amazing way to help build a bond between you and your chinchilla and have them associate you with something they love. Unlike other pets, the options for safe and healthy treats for chinchillas are somewhat limited, despite pet stores carrying what are labeled as chinchilla treats. Treats should never include seeds, nuts, fruits, excess fat, etc. The plainer the better. And in fact, my favorite place to go for chin treats is the grocery store. A few easy to come by treats you can find here are bee pollen, plain Cheerios, plain classic oats, and unfrosted mini wheats. Other more specific chinchilla treats like dried rose hips or dried hibiscus, which are both chin pals faves, you might have to find at more specific places like Whimsy's Menagerie Chinchilla Rescue, Nola Chinchilla Rescue, or Pandemonium Pets Etsy Shop. We like to keep our treats in jars that are airtight so they stay fresh longer. Remember that chins don't really need treats, and things like raisins, although commonly thought of as good chinchilla treats, are way too high in sugar and not safe at all. This goes for all fruits and veggies too, dried or fresh, too high in sugar and or water content. Tell us in the comments below what your chinchilla's favorite treat is. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next care video.